Sona, of course, is up six uh, percent today. It's uh, uh, doing very well, six eighty on uh, that one. I think we're going to wrap up things uh, here. One seventy six points up on the Nifty is what we have. So ending with pretty much what we started with. Uh, so let me just tell you what the open uh, was. The open today was twenty one nine ninety. Uh, so you're basically ending about 30 points above where we started the day. The high today has been 22, 123. Uh, so off the highs, but uh, about 100 points off the highs, I think. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, the... Uh, sorry, the high has been 22,080, yeah. beg your pardon. Uh, so about 60 points off the high. Uh, so that's not such a bad outcome. But uh, And the open today was uh, 21,989. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I mean, 20, 25 points above where the opening level was. I was looking at the weekly chart. Uh, and uh, you got the Bank Nifty, which will end where? Uh, the Nifty Bank will end about 0.8% higher. That's about 370 points, but 2% gains in the mid and small cap part of the market. Make it really a broader market session uh, to watch. Anyway. Uh, a good advance decline ratio on our hands. So nearly 1,900 stocks advancing for about 400 stocks declining. And the sectoral indices which did well, so PSU, so the Nifty PSC index was up 3.5%. The global optimism lifted the metals. The Nifty metal index was up 2.5% and uh, PSU banks too. Uh, rally close to about 2%. No sector ending in the red today. Yeah, very, very positive looking screen and the mid-cap index closing at the highs of the session. Talking about PSUs, I mean, look at the rally out here. BFC 7%, REC 6%, Nalco 6%. NBCC 5%, just a long, long list of winners out there. But it's not just PSUs, it wasn't a very narrow broad market move. I've got other names for you, IRB 9%, NCC 8%, uh, something like a Ojeevan Small Finance Bank, 5% on the higher side. You've got a CG Power rallying all the way up to 9%, uh, l and Finance 5%, so very diverse, Chola Finance 5%, very, very diverse. And a lot of these are uh, you know, large mid-cap stocks. These are stocks in which people uh, do have a lot of positions, trading positions. Many of them are FNO stocks. So it's telling you that the mid-cap market was very vibrant and it wasn't a very narrow PSU-driven move alone. So I think uh, the bulls will be pretty happy with the recovery that we've seen in the broader market so far this week. Okay, with that, we're going to take your leave and closing bell from the entire team. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Markets Forward comes up next.